All right, I got my cute little fishies uh, just recently from the missions and thought I'd take them out there. The baby grouper and I got one of the groupers to see how well they do. Um, notice this is fish on fish. And it looks like here that the groupers have pretty decent uh, resistance to crushing damage. So let's see, it only takes 20% crushing damage, whereas explosive damage is its weakness. So that's why you see that everything's in red right now, because it's not going to, uh, it's not going to be a very, uh, very quick fight. Doing 30 damage, and then the little fish has a unique pattern here. Ooh, the little fish get a got some pretty decent crits on that guy. Let's see. This right here does uh, 70 to 90 times 3 damage. Nah, weak, weak, weak. Kind of what I expected. I want to try this again. Hmm. Not too terribly bad. Okay, that would be a completely boring fight just to watch that go on, so... Let's see if this battle is decent. Oh, we've got a plane too, which these units do can hit planes with uh, this shot right here. So now that ends the stalemate between planes and groupers. Uh, so that was one of the update fixes. All right, notice that it's in, everything is in yellow here, except for the plane. The plane will not like this. I want to see how this thing, this ship, is going to eat a plane. Watch. Oh, wow. Pretty nice. like jaws coming out of the water and, and biting the fin out, and the plane was sucking it down. That's <laughs> crazy. So, okay. <clears throat> a gunboat, so let's see what it does. Nice. You know, this little guy, the baby grouper, I think when he's max rank, will do some pretty decent damage. Um, although its its health is um, a little bit lacking. Uh, let's see, it's... Alright, it's base of defense, 70% explosive, 20% fire, 35% crushing, and piercing damage. So, really only decent... Uh, it's got decent damage resistance to fire, crushing, and piercing, but explosives is, is going to be its weakness, and also the torpedo attack. Uh, this was the mouth bite that we seen earlier. Does 161 to 200, 200 some damage. Um, crits versus sub, 40%, 47% chance. So uh, that is a very good uh, unit to use against subs. 35% armor piercing, and 52% chance on the gunboat getting the bite. Okay, this one has a 51% subs as well, and same with gumboats. So, pretty nice little fishy here. And I believe it was only 10 teeth. Look at that. Pretty nice for a tiny little guy. Now this guy, this is a guy we've been battling for a while. And this shot will actually hit two in a row. It'll bite two ships in a row, but I don't have any here, so I'll just do it on this one. And did okay damage. Didn't get a crit on that one. It was okay. I think for the fun of it, I'll attack with my buoy. Oh, he's out of ammo. Too bad. Okay, so I guess I'll use one of these. Uh, the gunboat, here we go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Just took him out with all three crits. Had a decent, it was like 57% chance of getting crits, so it did really well. Alright, don't kill my baby fishy. Mama will get angry at you. Alright, so overall, cute little, uh, little units. Um, it's nice to have some different, uh, different things out there to fight with your naval battle. Um, these two guys will look like they'll be helpful for your naval fights. Uh, so I'd get them and rank them up. Um, they are not good against the ironclad. It'd be great against the two subs that are beside the ironclad, but against the ironclad itself, 
it is very weak. I brought uh, the grouper to the first battle with the ironclad, and it, uh, the ironclad, what the hell am I talking about? I I'm talking about the dreadnought. If you take it against the dreadnought, um, it will laugh at your grouper and kill him very quickly. So uh, I wouldn't even bring him into that battle uh, anyway. So I guess I'm just dreaming I had the damn uh, ironclad. Anyway, all right, guys, hope this video was semi-helpful in your decision whether you're going to make any of these uh, groupers or not. Uh, it does hit planes. It looks like it one-shot most of them, which is nice. Uh, so it would be worth having a few. And the baby groupers, uh, pretty easy to train. I would just start mass producing those and ranking those guys up because they look like they may be helpful in uh, boss strikes and things where your naval battles 